Do you want to start a business to give your family more freedom? Do you desire to have a marriage that makes your friends jealous? Do you want to spend more quality time with your children? We are your hosts, Matt and Jocelyn Woodruff, and we cannot wait to share this journey with you. Welcome to our family-friendly podcast. Join our conversations where we talk about how to build a business that will give us the freedom we choose. Welcome to the Family Life Movement Podcast. So what are some other things that parents can do to improve the health and wellness of our children? You know, as, as parents, we want what's, whatever's best. We want to encourage them. We want to support them and stuff like that. So what are some ways that parents can, you know, improve, you know, our children's health? That way they can be healthy and live, you know, longer and, and prosper. And, and what are some ways that we can build their wealth? You know, with, with food is actually really important. Like when, when it comes to eating healthy, you know, eating healthy plays a big role and it could actually, certain foods can even affect your mindset and affect the way you think, you know, they were, it was a big study about ramen noodles and how ramen noodles, you know, you know, it's a big college kid type of food, you know, because it's, it's really inexpensive, but you know, they had, I think it was, was it ADD or it was, uh, it was one, it was something that, you know, they, they, they were telling people not to eat it because, you know, there were certain chemicals in the ramen noodles that triggered off certain things in the brain, you know, with attention, you know, and, and other things. And, you know, it's, it's, and it's good to, you know, really put healthy foods as best as you can. You know, kids love to be, eat junk food, you know, and I'm still trying to pull my youngest one who's, who's 16 away from the junk food. He's like, he loves his junk food, but yet he's the healthiest in the house, you know, but, uh, you know, I, I tell, you know, it's really important to give your kids healthy food. You know, it helps them with their focus, their attention, their energy, you know, a lot of things. So feeding your child well, you know, plays a big role. And even nowadays now with the all the different um, uh, different uh, ingredients, like in the in the, the hormones in the milk and the eggs, and all the different like things like arsenic in the chicken. You know, those things actually stay in your body and, and can affect the body. You know, young little girls are going through menstruation like eight years old. You know, when they're supposed to be going through it like you know thirteen and fourteen, because of all these different hormones and and different things in the food, it's affecting their bodies. So really, you know, um, food plays a big role you know, in, in, uh, in how we, our mental capacity and how we, how we think and, and it can affect your self-esteem as well. Yeah, definitely. There's, there's so much out there on the, you know, the, the study of carbohydrates and, you know, ADD and there's a huge link and, and sugar and ADD, sugar and these mm-hmm. other, you know, mental, you know, developmental disorders and different things yeah. like that. And so I think as parents, we need to be aware of that and be aware of how different foods affect the way our children think and the, you know how these different things affect the mindset of our children. Yeah, like with ADD, they have like a whole thing about different foods to avoid and different foods to focus on that actually can help ADD instead of using medications and stuff like that. So there, you know, food pl- does play a huge role, you know, people don't realize it, but there even there, there's foods that, you know, can can trigger off certain chemicals in the in the brain and, you know, and with depression and stuff like that. And, you know, they, they, there's a lot of things. So, you know, what we put in our body plays a big role and it, it people don't realize that, but it really does yeah exactly so what are some of the different ways that we can improve the mindset of our children like lift them up encourage them and inspire them and motivate them to be the best version of themselves you know, when it came to my children, you know, I always asked them, you know, what they wanted to do, what they liked to do. And if my child liked to play sports, you know, I put them, you know, in little league, you know, I put them, I, you know, if they, my daughter liked gymnastics, I put her in gymnastics, you know, and I was there for all the, you know, it, it, for all the different um, games and stuff like that. And, you know, and you tell them how great they did and, you know, you tell them how good they did, or if they like art, you put them in an art class, you know, let them, let them find who they are, you know, let them 
find their true passions and don't discourage them, you know? And, you know, sometimes when, when a boy might like something that might be a little bit on the feminine side, but maybe he likes certain things, maybe he likes gymnastics, you know, but in our society, gymnastics, you know, is more for the girls, you know, but it's not, you know, you see, you see that there's a lot of male gymnastic um, people out there that you see that even in ballet, there's, there's wonderful ballet uh, dancers out there that are male, you know, if your child likes, you know, a certain thing, you know, don't go by what society says, you know, encourage your child, motivate your child and tell your child how great they are, how, what they're, you know, how they're doing such a great job, you know, and when you, if you want to give them constructive criticism, you know, think about how you say it before you say it, you know, sometimes, you know, the, when you, people, you know, sometimes they say things and they, they, they say it a little harshly and that can hurt a child's self-esteem. You know, you could, you have to reword things, you know, you did a great job, but did you ever try doing it this way? You know, when I was young, I did it this way and it was amazing. You know, maybe one day you might want to try it this way, you know, and, you know, just you say it in a nonchalant way, you stick it in there, you know, but you don't say, you know, that was terrible. You know, you could have did better than that, you know, and things like that could really, you know, really hurt a child and stress a child out no less. It's, you know, so things like that, you should always, you know, think about how, you know, constructive criticism, how to say things to your child when you want to try to help them do better. Love that, especially, you know, and, and again, we're getting back to that point of how important words are and, and continuing in that theme. What are some ways that we can build our children up, you know, especially our, our daughters? You know, I think that in today's world, especially as a man, I do not pretend to understand the social and psychological stress that females are under in today's world. They see models, they see pictures, they see image and women especially girls are taught from a young age that they're supposed to want to look like so-and-so. They're supposed to be as beautiful as so-and-so. They're supposed to do this. They're supposed to do that. They're supposed to measure up. So as, as dads, what can we do to build up our children? Again, especially our daughters. You know, in our society, you know, celebrities are put on a pedestal, you know, and, but you ever notice most of these celebrities, most of the things on their body is fake, you know, and, you know, there was like a, 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 one of the stories with one of the celebrities, you know, her, that one of the mothers forced her child when she was a teenager to get, you know, plastic surgery and constructive surgery, you know, because she wanted her to look good because she wanted her to become a celebrity, you know, when she got a little bit older, you know, it's these, you know, it's not you don't want to you want to be your own person you don't want to follow other people you want to be a leader not a follower you don't want to look like these people you know uh, you, you want to be your own person you want to do what's going to make you happy as a person you know and it's it's not about what you look like on the outside it's what you are on the inside your heart how you feel on the inside because you could be the most beautiful woman in the world but if you're not happy then, you know, life is just going to be a bowl of misery for you. You know, it's not how you look on the outside. It's, you know, you need to think about how you feel on the inside and, and think about what you need to do to make yourself happy as a person, you know, what's going to make you happy and tell your child, you know, these are the things you need to focus on. Be a leader, not a follower. You don't want to follow other people because that's not who you are. That might be who they are, but it's not who you are. You have to look inside your heart and figure out who you are as a person, you know, and, and 14 and 15 years old is really hard ages, you know, like when you're, when you're in that, you know, seventh, sixth, seventh, eighth grade mode, you know, they're trying to figure out who they are, you know, and, and, and it's just, that's the part, the time when you're giving them a lot of encouragement and trying to tell them to be unique, be your own person, you know, think about what you're good in and focus on that, you know, don't follow what other people are doing because it's just not going to make you happy as a person i love that and so not focusing on their own insecurities but encouraging them and their strengths yes i think another thing and and i would love to hear your insight on it is to show your know, daughters that these celebrities fill in the blank with whoever it is that they're looking at have their own insecurities and so pointing out that hey you know so and so she thinks her nose is too big you know, she thinks, you know, so-and-so and, and, and different things like that. So showing these girls, showing our daughters that these people that they look up to have their own insecurities, that they don't think that they're perfect. Right. And 
I think what that would do, and again, I would love to get your your thoughts on it as as a female, is that it shows that these women that our our daughters are idolizing are human, that they have mm-hmm. the exact same emotional response right. that they do. One hundred percent. You know, I think you hit it right on the ball. You know, it's it's a lot of times when people are going through, you know, you see these young girls who are beautiful, but they're getting constructive surgery or they're getting Botox. It's their own insecurities. They're looking in the mirror and either they, you know, they're they're not liking what they're seeing or they want they want to be better than the other girls around them. Again, you know, who's in your, your circle? Because the girls in their circle may not be a good, you know, influence on them. You know, they, they are insecure in themselves, you know, and they want to be, you know, they want to be accepted. And that's the thing. Don't worry about being accepted. Be who you are and don't worry about what other people think. You want to you wanna have to accept and love yourself for who you are. And don't worry about having other people accept you. If people like you, they're going to like you for who you are. They're not going to like you because you're like them. You know, people respect people who ha- are their own people. You know, people, when you are your own person, you know, people are more respect you more as a person because you have the courage to be your own person. Absolutely love that. So what are some of the most important things that we can tell our daughters to build them up so that they can achieve their own goals and their dreams? You know, I always told my children, like I was saying before, you can do anything you want. You just put your mind to it, you know, and it, it's not about what you are on the outside. It's about who you are on the inside. You have to be happy and you have to be, ha- you know, happy with the person you are. If you're, if you don't like the way you look, maybe if you feel you're a little overweight, you know, do something about it, you know, and, you know, it, it's, it's taking charge of, of your life, you know, seeing things in life that you might not like yourself, you know, like maybe you're a little bit 10, 20 pounds overweight, you know then what can you do to, to fix that? You know, making those short-term and long-term goals again, you know, it's, it's, you know, whatever in life, you have to decide who you are as a person, decide what your love is. And they have to, you know, you, and I always told my kids, you could do anything you want, you know, as long as you put your mind to it, you have the capabilities to become your own person and choose your own paths. And the, the decisions we make as a person will affect us forever. So when you make choices in life, you have to make sure you make wise choices. And I always tell my children to really think before they, they make their decisions in life, because it's, it's, you know, that, you know, one decision can affect your whole entire life, you know, and one choice, especially when they're teenagers, you know, uh, you know, a, a simple, you know, wrong choice or going down a wrong path can affect you, you know, or it might teach you a very, a, a big lesson and that you learn from that lesson, but not everybody learns from a lesson. And sometimes people are affected and, it, and it, it stays with them the rest of their lives. So it's always, you know, to tell your child that, you know, you have to think before you do things, you have to, your decisions, you know, you know, your decisions are important decisions and make sure your children understand that, you know, the little things in life, you know, go a long way. So, you know, they have to really, you know, when they're making little decisions in school and they're making decisions with their friends, you know, make, make sure you're making the right decisions and it's who you are. You have to be happy with who you are. And again, be a leader. I, I always stress that to my children, be a leader, not a follower, because you don't get anywhere in life being a follower. Very true. I think that's something as parents that we can learn as well. It's not just our kids, but we can oh, yeah. do that. We can improve our own, you know, mindset on ourselves and, and uh, you know, understanding the characteristics that it takes to be a leader. So what are some ways that we can improve our own mindsets so that we understand that we are worth improving? You know, a lot, a lot of times, you know, people, um, you know, they have to realize that they are special, that they are a good person, that they have, you know, they're worth changing. You know, if people want to make them improve themselves, you know, don't be afraid to, to, you know, and think that, you know, maybe you're not worth it or think that, you know, or be afraid of change, you know, change is a good thing. So many people fear change. Like I said earlier, you know, don't fear change. You know, you have to face, you know, you have to face your fears in order to, to move forward 
forward in life, you know, and, and you're never going to know if you could have had better unless you face your fears and you, and you focus on and, and move towards change. Change is always can be a very good thing in life, you know, and most of the time it is. So it's like, you know, don't be fearful. You know, like you said, don't let fear set in, you know, focus on what you want in life and then figure out goals to help you get there. Definitely. I think so many times we allow our fears to fears to keep us and dictate who we are. We allow fear to become our identity instead of taking mm-hmm. charge of fear. Oh, 100%, you know, and not to be lazy either. You know, so many people say, I want this, I want this, I want this, I want to, you know, I want this to happen. And, you know, but th- then what are you doing to, to get there? You know, and, you know, you, you, you can say, I want this, or you can be envious of somebody, but you know what, if you want it, you can get it. Don't be lazy, you know, and, you know, like we were saying earlier, it takes time, you know, make, make some goals, you know, focus on change organizing your time. You know, a lot of people feel I don't have time to lose weight. I don't have time to do this. I don't have time to do that. But you know what, if you reorganize your agenda, sometimes we're so used to our, our daily agenda that we don't know we, we don't know how to change that. I get up in the morning, I have my coffee, I do this, I do that, you know what? But you know what? Maybe you're wasting an hour and a half in the morning doing X, Y, and Z. All right, if I got up at this time and I did this and this and this and this, well, you know, I could actually have more time to do something else, you know? And it's re, redoing your agenda. If you have a goal you want, you want to accomplish, all right, I need to change the way I do things each day so I could achieve this goal. And, and not be afraid of changing your agenda and writing out a plan for yourself. You know, it's good to write out a little plan, you know, on how you're going to achieve these goals that you want and start doing things differently because sometimes we get so set in our ways. We don't know how to do things any other way, but you know, you have to really think about it. And you have to, you know, some people might not have the energy. Some people are like, oh, I'm so tired. I can't get up at this time and this and that. Well, maybe you don't have the energy because you're not eating the right foods or you're not taking the vitamins you need. You know what? Maybe you should start looking into doing things to try to increase your energy so you get up in the morning and you're able to do this, you know. And so there's no excuse. It's just that you have to want it bad enough. You know, if you don't want it bad enough, then you're not going to do it. You know, sometimes people have to hit rock bottoms in order to change, but you don't have to hit rock bottom. You know, it just don't be lazy, you know, or just change your game plan. You know, these are, these are ways of of doing it. Exactly. I couldn't agree with you more. And that leads right into the next question, which are, what are some morning routines that have set you up for success? You know, I, in the morning, the first thing I love to do, I love to take a shower in the morning because it wakes me up. You know, I start, I feel more energetic when I take a shower and then I, mo- I meditate, you know, I take some time. You can take 15 minutes of meditation in the morning and that helps with my focus. It helps with, you know, my doctor told me my cortisol level is, is shooting through the roof, you know, this past year. So it's like, that means when I'm sleeping, I'm thinking about things. I'm just, my mind is going and my stress level is, even though I don't feel stressed, my body stress. It's probably stress because I'm thinking about everything I got to do the next day. So, you know, you wake up in the morning, you take a shower, you motivate, you you meditate for about 15 minutes, you get yourself, okay, my core level is here. I'm going to meditate, relax and focus. And I'm going to get myself back down to here because when you meditate, you feel more focused. You're able to, to, you know, think more clearly and that could help you with your whole day, you know, and there's, there's lots of things. There's lots of different, you know, meditations for different things. You know, you can, you know, I want to meditate because I want to do this. I want more energy. I want to focus. I want to do this. I want to do that. You know, you know, I want to be successful. There's actually, there's meditations for everything. So take 15 minutes, you know, focus on what you want to do, you know, and, and, meditate and be able to clear your mind, you know, and put that, you know, put away all those, that negativeness and focus on the positiveness in your life, you know, and if you have time in the morning, exercise a little, you know, exercise is great. Exercise gets the blood circulation going. It gives you energy. You know, you feel good. Yoga actually, you know, helps with the, um, it, it makes you energetic, you know, because it helps with your blood circulations and, you know, just doing a little bit of yoga in the morning could actually help you tremendously, or you can go to the gym, you know, have a protein drink, 
and you know you don't you don't have to exercise like an insane amount of time exercise a little or exercise in your home you know and get yourself going that way you know and just start your day off on the right on the right track you know and then make a goal okay today I have to do this 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 and this and then you make a goal you see all the things you need to get done and then you focus on how you're going to get there and how you're going to achieve all of them love that so what are some other daily habits that we should be implementing into our lives you know, I, I think time, you know, organizing our time better. You know, I think we all tend to not organize our time as well as we can. Um, being stressed, always in a hurry, rush, rush mode. You know, everybody is always rushing for something. You don't have to rush. You know, You're, you see people driving like crazy. You ever see people on the road? They're driving like crazy. And you know what? You're driving normally and you end up on the same spot, like five minutes down the road, 10 minutes down the road. You, the red light is there you look and it's the same person that was driving like a maniac you know where they it doesn't get it doesn't pay to be stressed you know you actually accomplish less when you're stressed you know by relaxing and be, be taking things calmly you can focus more you can achieve more and you can accomplish more and your immune system is higher you're not going to get as sick you know and you know it, it just it, it does well to learn how to cope with stress and to, to not you know be so stressed out and you know and by setting goals for yourself each day you can accomplish everything you need to or and even if you don't accomplish everything you know give yourself again a pat on the back for getting a lot of stuff done i absolutely love that and you know i completely agree with what you're saying you know stop the rush 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 slow down you know i think so many times we are in such a hurry to get to our destination whatever that is you know whether that's business life kids we're so anxious for the next stage of life that we don't slow down enjoy now enjoy the now yeah your kids will never be this age again exactly your you know you don't realize with it. Your, yeah your, your relationship with your your partner will be never be at this stage whether good or bad and even in those bad times enjoy it because those are building blocks you know so yes you forget to lean into the struggle kind of exactly what Stacy was saying earlier you know lean into that see what you're supposed to be learning and enjoy the the building process you know, it's just people don't realize, but time goes by so quick, you know, and, you know, I remember when my kids were little and my, um, you know, the, the, the elder ones in the family used to say, enjoy it because it goes by so quick. And I'd roll my eyes like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and now my kids are all grown, you know, like, uh, you know, I have one left in high school, the other ones are in college and they're all grown up, you know, and it's just, you know, the time just flew. So you, like you said, you got to enjoy it. You got to take each moment and just enjoy it. You know, work will be there. This will be there. That will be there. You know, enjoy the, the positive and the good things in life that bring you happiness, like your family, you know, or your good friends or, you know, whatever brings you happiness, focus on those things and enjoy it because, you know, you can't bring money to the grave. You can't, you know, you can't, you know, you, 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 you know, working nonstop and, and not enjoying what you're working for, you know, it, it makes no sense. You have to enjoy, enjoy your life and, and enjoy what's out there in your, in your life. Exactly. So as we start wrapping up here, what are some of your favorite resources on personal development, parenting, marriage? What are some of your favorite podcasts, books, uh, influencers? You. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, um, I, I love, you know, I would love reading like different inspirational stories. You know, I like, you know, a lot of times, like I used to read a lot, you know, Tony Robinson is really great. Like I, I have, you know, listened to a lot of his stuff and, you know, and I, I really like, you know, how he thinks his mindset, you know, um, I, you know, I, uh, I've, you know, soup for the soul was, um, they, all their, their books were great. You know, like, uh, I really love, you know, they have so many inspirational stories and they're all their books focus on, they have books for different topics and they even have poetry books and, you know, it brings, you know, a lot of inspiration and a lot of motivation. And, and, um, you know, I just, uh, you know, I love, you know, reading self-help books, all different types. And, you know, there's not one specific self, you know, self-help, um, um, uh, author I could think of off the top of my head, but you know, like I, I get a lot of books, um, because we review a lot of books on our website and, um, 
you know, they, there's a lot of new authors, you know, that come across and they have great, you know, motivational and, and self-help and inspirational stories to share and, you know, advice to share. And, uh, you know, you know, parenting.com is a great website too for, um, for parents who, uh, you know, are looking to get, you know, little advice here and there. And, um, you know, uh, there is, uh, you know, even uh, healthline.com, you know, their content over the years have changed tremendously. You know, they're very, uh, you know, they, they, um, they do a lot of research. Everything is researched and um, they have a lot of good stories to share as well. And, um, you know, I really enjoy, uh, you know, reading good stories and, but you have to, you know, make sure where you're getting your information from too, because there's a lot of fake news out there too. Anyone can write an article or write something and post it, you know, and you always have to go to, to websites that are reputable and have good reputations and that you know are going to give you actual accurate information because you know there's a lot of times I have read stuff and the information was not accurate you know and uh, so you have to be careful where you where you get your information you know and uh, you know there's a lot of good resources out there but you just have to make sure that you go to ones that are uh, that really rank really high and that are known for to be reputable and you know different organizations have a lot of good information too if you're looking for one specific topic there's organizations out there for so many different things you know and you know look for reputable organizations you know every state has you know a bunch of organizations a lot of times organizations will um, you know they'll have a subsidy in, in every uh, in every state you know and you can look up you know and that's when the support groups we were talking about support groups if you want to talk to people and share information and get information you know um, there's lots of organizations in every in every uh, state and if you don't know the ones in your state or you can't find it you can you know there's always one in one main state and then they'll tell you which where it is you know or what the number is or what the website is for that state man awesome Stacy how can people learn more about you and your mission um, you know, I have um, I have a website called the Complete Herbal Guide dot com. Uh, we have we do you know my my goal you know uh, is to basically to help people to help people naturally you know how you know different ways mentally physically and spiritually can we help people you know um, we t we talk about exercise we talk about mentality different you know we talk go over different different conditions and how you can help yourself you know you know naturally we talk about stress we talk about self-esteem we talk about you know a lot of different things a lot of um, writers and doctors and professionals will submit their articles onto the website and share their information and at the complete herbal guide.com we have like we have thousands of articles on the website that are currently updated daily that they can go to you know we have uh, my website stacy that has a lot of great information and it has lots of free downloads for ebooks and reports and stuff like that that people can go to and if they have any questions they can just come to the website the completerableguide.com and just ask me and I'll be happy to you know reach out and answer their questions awesome we will definitely make sure that we put those in the show notes that way you can find them easily uh, one last question uh, before I let you go uh, who is an entrepreneur that you look up to and is doing great things and where can we learn more about what they are doing oh gosh you know like off the top of my head I, 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 I see his face but I can't think of his name oh my god um, Jack Cranberry is, is, is a really great uh, guy um, he actually um, you know I've, I've, I've loved his story from the beginning from when he first began to, to now how he, he, he created a, a, a huge enterprise but he helps people and you know that's his main focus he, he all his material is geared on helping people and uh, he started out you know um, you know, just a, as just a regular person like you and I, and he just built himself and built his industry and, and his, and, and he, he made himself into, uh, you know, a worldwide figure where people know him all throughout the world and know his, his books and his materials and his webinars, and you can find his stuff everywhere. And, uh, you know, and he, he's, he's great. And you can, there's so many different books he, he put out that are really helpful and, and share a lot of good advice. Awesome. We will definitely make sure that we throw his website on there as well. That way people can find out about 
uh, Jack Cranberry. Stacey, thank you so much for being on the show. You've given us a lot to think about, a lot to digest from morning routines uh, to understanding our own mindset, not letting fear conquer us. So thank you so much for being on the show. Oh, thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it so much. Thank you for listening to the Family Life Movement Podcast. I hope you had as much fun as we did. To hear our thoughts on the podcast and to continue this conversation, join our free Facebook group by searching for the Family Life Movement. See the show notes for links to our guest social media and websites and any resources that were mentioned will also be linked in the show notes. Also, if you're enjoying the podcast, please go rate and review and send us a screenshot and we will send you a special access gift. Join us next time for more conversations, tips, and tricks on growing your business around your family. Thanks for joining us and have a great day.